Allow me to set the story. North Carolina. Let's get more specific. The Triangle area, which makes up Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill. It's one of the fastest growing areas in the country as there is a pretty low cost of living compared to other cities like New York City or San Francisco. The area is known for its jobs and surrounding college campuses, those being NC State, UNC Chapel Hill, and Duke. This is where I live. Today, I wanted to express my homage to North Carolina and let you guys know what I like about it. I haven't been taking full advantage of having a greenway right next to me, and I definitely need to do it more. I haven't worked out in about in around a week and a half, and I'm trying to fix that, trying to get back into my healthy habits because why am I not moving my able and well body? There's no excuse. I think the best modern invention was the Apple Watch because this thing motivates me so much. I broke my band and I wasn't able to track my workout. So then I was like, mm, I'm not gonna work out because I can't track it. But now that I'm back and I have a band, I'm working out because it feels, I get so much satisfaction from closing all of my rings. Seeing the confetti light up on the screen makes my day. A little hack that I learned, it's to tie your house key to your shoelace. Uh, how smart? Look, just like this. Tie it. Greenways. Greenways are trails that connect all through the Triangle area. They're usually behind houses and it's a great way to get some movement in. The best of all is that it's accessible, but you can hop out of bed and get on a trail. Usually, or at least in my experience, I had to drive to get to a trail when I lived in Pennsylvania, but here I can walk out my apartment, cross the street, and be on a trail. Only in North Carolina will you find that people on a trail want to talk to you. And, you know, it's nice. I get it. It's Southern hospitality. People love that. I don't. I don't because I would rather just be left alone. And now that doesn't mean I'm not down for a head nod, a gentle head nod, but I don't want to have a full blown conversation with you unless you have dogs and you have something to offer me. <laughs> sure, I'll have a chat with you. But other than that, you know, let's just, let's continue our walk, both of us. Cheers. That's one thing I really dislike about going on the trail here is I am open. I'm opening myself to one unsolicited conversation. I'm not a small talk girl. I'm good at it. I don't want to do it though. Post-workout, I call it glow. Cookout. This is the best fast food I've ever had. It's the top of the list, top of the line. It's so good. It's the best fast food around. And I was introduced to them in North Carolina. So I am, I'm naming it as a North Carolina staple. All right, I'm back with a North Carolina delight. Cookout. Now cookout, I would highly recommend if you're ever in North Carolina, don't know why you would be, but if you are, get cookout. It's the best fast food I've ever had. It's over Wendy's, over Burger King. I don't even know who the fuck likes Burger King anyway. Cookout. Cookout is the way to fucking go. It's so good. First off, of course, a milkshake. They have... <laughs> Their milkshakes aren't really milkshakes. It's basically just ice cream in a cup because they're so fucking thick but I got the peanut butter and I got peanut butter chocolate. You know, that's just me. And then you get the meal. The only thing I hate about cookout is the menu. The menu is neon colors flashing at you. What do you want? What do you want? And the speakers there, cookout. Replace your goddamn speakers. It sounds like what is gonna go for you? It sounds fucking awful and it's fucking scary because when I get up there, I'm like, give me a second. And then they're starting to talk to me like, what would you like? And I'm like, ah, it's, it's too much. It overwhelms me. Honestly, this time wasn't that bad. But usually when I go, honestly, it's probably because cookouts also open till I think 4 a.m. I usually go really late at night. It's not the place to be late at night. Can't even squeeze it out. Don't call it a milkshake if it's not. Oh God, it's good. This is gonna tear up my stomach. I made myself lactose intolerant because I don't drink milk. <coughs> the fuck? <coughs> I'm going to die. Let's get into the food. I got a burger tray 
cheddar style with a Cajun wrap and with a chicken quesadilla. And all of this was 1073. Something about cookout that other fast food restaurants don't do is their burgers, they grill them. They grill them. They, they're on there flipping them, flipping them. Guys, it has bacon in it. That slaps. This is the this is the chicken wrap. They also have like the weirdest sides, which it's kind of fun. The wrap is good. It's not much. She looks flat as fuck. Really, it's concerningly flat, but it has chicken in it, and it's quite good. It's Cajun flavored. I love Cajun. North Carolina staple right here. With like comes dislike. Let's talk about what I don't like. There's not much diversity in the landscape. There's no hills, at least in this area of North Carolina. It's flat. There's so many businesses. There's so many apartment buildings, so many homes. It all looks the same. And that can get mundane and dull and boring. Kind of gets sad because there's nothing new to look at. And I'm all one to be grateful for your surroundings, but Sometimes it feels like I'm in a video game. Obviously, North Carolina is car heavy, but this is like anywhere in the United States, so this can't be blamed on them. As I mentioned before, North Carolina is said to have a pretty low cost of living. That was before it became one of the fastest growing states in the country. There's gentrification, which leads to people getting pushed out of their homes, and I don't know how we can fix that. I mean, homelessness is a big, big task, but... You know, it's just sad, and I wanted to address that. Originally from Pennsylvania, I am biased and love the North. The frankness of people, the four seasons, the abundance of small businesses, the people who know how to make a bacon, egg, and cheese, what more would I need? But honestly, North Carolina isn't so bad. 